G'day guys, Jason here. Welcome back to my fish room. So in this week's video, we're going to be heading over to Adam's house and having a look at the progress he's made on his fish room build. So let's get straight into this week's video. I've been on the job today to see this <coughs> paling of timber on the edge. So I bought some lengths pretty cheap because all these timbers were all over the place, not like not square lined up, etc. So I've run a border around so that when we're jip rocking the ceiling, um, you know, we're not going to have any massive variations. So the sheet will be able to conform to the frame I set now. And so also because the sheets are 1200 wide, I ran a paling and 1200 is down the middle of the paling. So when we put one sheet up here, the edge of it will be half on this timber so we can nail it. And then the next sheet will also sit on that timber so we can nail it. So that's another reason why. So run this one here and then another 1200 will be here somewhere and run it there. Um, so that when we put the three sheets up, um, it'll be very easy to nail it in. And then I'll do a couple runners across the hardwood here as well. Another update. So I've insulated the bathroom now. So walls, ceiling, all the plumbing is done. Power, services, done. Window frame in here, done. Uh, yes, I insulate everywhere. Above door, around door. Um, and window in here is installed so I still need to do the window sill frame properly and whatnot but I'll sort that out when I do the architrave. So tomorrow we are going to jip rock the ceiling finally um, in there, all of it, bathroom ceiling and entranceway. So I have to run a couple more flyers before we chuck the jip rock up um, but Bunnings is closed so I'll do that in the morning. And we will also sheet up the villa board in here so planning on sheeting everything up the ceiling and the bathroom tomorrow which will be a monday and then tuesday um, my friend will come back and we'll set cornices and plaster so hopefully within three or four days time jip rocking will be done and then i can move on to painting yeah so cannot wait till we get there once painting's done then i can Get the Tyler in to do his thing. Jip rock is all up. Ceilings all above the doorways, everywhere that I hadn't done. All done. Finally, long day today to get it in. And bathroom ceiling in. So I still have to sheet up the villa board on the walls, but. I can do that later. Main reason why I need all the Jibrock up is because Plasterer is coming tomorrow. So, got it all in. Happy it's done. One big job off the list now. Another day on the job. Base coat is done. Now on all the joins, which is good. Still drying. Be dry tonight. Give it a quick sand and then do the top coat tomorrow. It's starting to come together finally. And bathroom, put the villa board up. And base coat, the joint in the ceiling. So. Yeah, I think it's time to go tile shopping. Order my tiles, get them delivered, get the tile lights kind of look. This is my first proper look at the cement bed the Tyler did, and he did a phenomenal job. It, like, I mean, for a garage fish room, I could even really just sweep this up and seal it and leave this as a floor. It's, it's immaculate polish it, seal it, whatever. He's done a really, really good job. It's perfectly 
when I'm perfectly. He's got a really, really slight fall to the doorway and out. Um, but yeah, he's done a great job. Very happy with the bed. So it's a, it looks like he's done it about three, three and a half centimeters thick. Um, so that's going to chew into my height, obviously. I have to see how much because I don't know if it's going to impact me having three shells um, on that six foot rack because the ceiling goes down that way like it I can literally touch it without any problem so yeah but phenomenal job I'm very happy so far so he'll be coming back tomorrow to do all the waterproofing in here um and then he'll round out the week doing the tiling. So here's the tiles that we've picked. So they're floorboardy look tiles. This is just gonna be inside the shower basin, inside the hob. Um, and then the bathroom, we just got plain white, 200 by 300. Just your normal plain white porcelain tiles. So. Yeah, I didn't want to use any dark colors or anything. Just wanted to try and make it as light and open as possible to make it look um, big. So yeah, very happy with the cement bed. I wish I could have done it this good myself when we did when we did that. What a difference to five months ago when you couldn't walk in here because I had all crap in here. So actual laying of tiles is done. They're going to come back tomorrow to clean up and grout and get their money. <laughs> so yeah, very happy. Looks. It's great. It's going to look even better once it's grouted and painted, skirtings, etc. Yeah, very good job. Okay, another update. Tiling's finished. Fully done, grouted, everything. Started doing undercoat um, everywhere. So, unfortunately, ran out of paint. Um, ran out of undercoat. So, got to go buy some more. Um, but yeah, looking good so far. It's only first undercoat. Probably do another two. So three undercoats in total, I think. Because um, it seems to be sucking it in. Um, and then, yeah, paint the colour. So plumber is coming today to install all the um, fixtures for me. Put the toilet, the sink, shower heads, taps, all that stuff on. So it's coming along. Once painting's done, I've already spoke to the Sparky. He's gonna come and finish up. Um, so from my end, really, I've gotta finish painting and doing timber work and put doors on. And then we will be ready to start building stands. So there you have it, guys. Adam's progress on his fish room. What do you guys think? I think he's made fantastic progress with that build. It's looking amazing and I can't wait to see it full of fish tanks. So really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up, comment and subscribe buttons. I really would appreciate it. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up now. Thanks heaps for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.